Hi, this is Chandra Prowell. And I'm Katie Luce. And we're doing an Academy screencast for your Dana Public Schools about absolute pitches and putting them on the staff. Mm -hmm. So what is an absolute pitch? We know from what we've been doing in the classroom about me, Ray, and Doe. Me, Ray, and Doe are pitches that we sing and we play on the instruments. But me, Ray, and Doe doesn't have a lot of meaning. It's a pitch relationship if you don't know where to start. So when you're playing recorder, me, Ray, and Doe might look like this. But all those pitches, they have names too, not just me, Ray, Doe. This right here, this is B. This is A and this is G. This is always B, A, and G when you play the recorder. Well, the same thing applies when you're writing on the staff. There is always going to be, the middle line is always going to be B, no matter what. And the reason we have the staff is that if I write a piece of music that I really enjoy and I want to share it with Miss Lutz so she can use it with her students, and I just tell her, well, it goes like this, me, Ray, do. No. That doesn't really tell her a lot. She needs to know I where to start. I might go to my instrument and say, well, does she mean me, Ray, do is E, D, E, D, C, or does she mean me, Ray, do is B, A, G, or what does she mean me, Ray, do is? I can look at those letter names on my xylophone and not have any idea where to play. So if I write it down for her on the staff and I give it what we call the absolute pitch, she knows that it's going to be B and A and G because that's what I wrote. The middle line is always B, the second space is always A, etc. 